。あなたのために日本の輸入ビデオゲームの楽しみの時間。bn-game.com Hi everyone, this is Bobby from bn-games.com and we're doing another episode of Region Locked.、Uh, today we're doing a game that,、um, well, to be honest with you, it, it is locked in some sense and in, not locked in another sense.、Uh, this is Initial D, a special stage for the PlayStation 2. Now, When I say this is a special case,、um, the arcade cabinets do have English variants、um, that, are, that have been imported over here.、Um, if you've been to any theater or any arcade, you've probably seen Initial D on some level, in some variation or version. Probably three or four, because those are most I, common. The, the most common. And probably the cheapest to pick up in this day and age.、Um, and that was also when it was popular. Most of them are three and four. And,、um, you know. In that sense, it's not a region lock, but the PlayStation 2 and PSP and PlayStation 3 games, all three,、um, are locked to Japan. And this is the PlayStation 2 version.、Um, I'm not a big、uh, fan of the series, but、uh, I do know a little bit about it. It is based on a manga, or manga, depending what region you're from. Manga. 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 And, uh. Durango? Marango. Manga. <laughs> and, um. It's a racing game by Sega, which is based on the manga or anime, because there's an anime series as well. And、um, it's a really popular arcade series. Now, there were versions, like I said, ported to the PS2, PSP, and PS3 in that order.、Uh, this is the first game. This is actually based on Initial D Stage 2, which we're currently on Initial D Stage, Stage 7. Yes, which is based on、uh, Sega's newest arcade board. And.、Um, You know, we know of one place here in, in、uh, California where you can actually play that.、Uh, but、uh, as I said, the PlayStation 2 version is based off of Stage 2. It's a special version that has features only、uh, found in this version of the game.、Um, there are scenes from, or what do you call them? Scenes? Parts of the manga that you can replay in, yeah, in the story you can, mode? Yeah, you can call them scenes or、uh, scenarios. Scenari- yeah, and, and they, they, they play out、um, these, these scenarios and scenes from the manga.、Um, As you, as you, in the story mode. And you, I mean, for, for someone from the West who doesn't speak Japanese, it's kind of impossible. I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, automatically I'm seeing this, and it's,、uh, it's kind of 50 50 as to how hard it is to figure out what to do、yeah. as far as getting the, the races. So obviously, it's a racing game. So the premise behind it is. Um, you know, you're just gonna race. Time so, trials. Time trials. In fact, this so, game is more about time trials than I think any other racer has been in a long time. Right, but as, as far as how accessible it is to someone who doesn't speak Japanese,、oh. it, it can be kind of 50 50 why the menus are not in English.、Um, also, the stats on the vehicles, and I think that did this one have the upgrade system in place?、Um, you know what? I couldn't get that far into it because I,、okay. I was having trouble figuring I, it out. I know, I know three does. I don't remember. There, I believe this one does because there is a、But、point system I, when you do just the arcade races.、Now. Yeah, so th- this should have a、uh, this should have some sort of a, a customization mode. But how accessible that is is going to be、um, pretty much not accessible just based on the fact that you're not going to know unless you speak the language what you're doing or what you're tweaking or what it's affecting. And, yeah,、um, in, in fact, in the story sequences here, the 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 characters are voiced by actors. You actually hear them speaking the you know speaking the the, the text、uh, in dialogue, and then you do the race、uh, or or the in the event. In the in the first race, you have to keep、uh, your car from well, you have to you have to race through track and keep from spilling too much water. For example, or in another sequence, you're actually racing against somebody else and you need to beat them in a standard race.、Um, this game has a very specific feel that I have not been able to master. I mean, I played a lot of racing games, but、um, this game requires a time commitment that、uh, I don't have. You know?、Um, I played it in the arcades back in the day when it was popular. In fact, in the arcades, you had a card system which saved your data onto like a little、uh, magnetic strip, and、uh, you could go to any initial D uh, uh, machine of the same type that had a card scanner and then plug in your,、um, your stats. This was the days before broadband, and you could just, I guess, modern ones would use your phone number, for example, and you can phone in your、um, results that way. 
Uh, in, in this day and age, it's, well, I, I think it still uses cards. Yeah, it still does. But, um, you know, even still, the, the cards are there, and you, you'd have to pay like three bucks for the damn card just to save your data. It was like, it was like crazy, crazy ripoff. Um, well, well I, I think so, well, personally. Well, ripoff for you, <laughs> yes. not a ripoff for, for the guys that are there all day every, long. Or the ones who buy the cabinets and have them in their houses. Yeah. Cabinet was like five grand, I think, for a starter, something yeah. like that. I, mean, I, I Yeah. Anyway. That's why they released the PS2 version, so you can play it at home. This game also supports a Logitech steering wheel for the PlayStation 2, and has very specific Logitech settings for the for the PS2 steering wheel. On the, this is a real, there's a real hardcore fan base, even even though it's not as popular as it was in 2002, 2003 when this game was released. Um, it was still it's still pretty serious. Um, the we're not showing it here. The PSP version is based on Stage 3, and then the PS Three version stage of the game four. is on stage four, although we're up to seven, seven in eight, eight, seven in you know in the arcades, and um, I'm I, I, through this entire video is just me racing and like I said I'm not very good at it. Um, in fact, I couldn't get past I think the third stage. Um, I just I, I can't get the controls down. Um, it's not a reflection on the game because the game is obviously has a fan base and it's you know it's it's a decent racer. But um, if you don't put that time commitment in, and if you don't have the dedication to really master the tracks, like there's a huge, huge emphasis on memorization of each turn. I mean, you, you know, I used to watch people just practice races just to practice one single turn. Like everything rode on one turn. They they had to know exactly what speed and what angle of attack and all those sorts of things. And in later versions of the game, like the PSP one, for example, it would um, the game had systems to show you where you might have done better in a turn than when you're sliding, for example. It's got a very floaty feel, and personally, I think I probably would do better in this game if I had a um, had the Logitech stream wheel, because the PlayStation 2 analog stick is not bad, but um, it's not as sensitive or as... Um, it's not as good as the PlayStation 3 one, for example, that I can say for sure. And you know, it's a little stiff, <coughs> and I just found myself just kind of knifing a little bit like you know left and right to keep the car in place and I had some moments you know I had some moments where I was doing okay but not enough of them you know? I definitely got past this after the fifth try <laughs> it was a it was a pain yes I just ended up slowing down it's like if I get a lower rank of well you know, I just want to get past it and you could probably pull up a YouTube video of someone doing this like perfect in, like in, with their eyes closed like in no time with their eyes closed with like you know their hands Facing taped the wall. together it up upside down against the wall, and like yeah, on, on like the hardest difficulty, do it like with 50 seconds of spare compared to Bobby, and yeah. get like no water spilled. Yeah, that hit that sucks. <laughs> yeah, this game this game has it has a it has a fan base that I think is only second to Street Fighter, yeah, as far as arcades are concerned, you know, um, in the states and in Japan. I mean, it's 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 uh, still popular in both. And it's kind of surprising. Actually, I should mention there were initial D games that were released also on the Sega Saturn. Um, you know, that was there was it was even big on that. Uh, I you know I'm not completely sure why this um, didn't make it to the states based on its ar the arcade's popularity. Uh, there might have been some kind of concern with Sega of America that it would uh, deter people from playing it in the arcades. It, it might have even been a licensing issue with uh, the car makers. That's entirely true because all the cars are well, they're mostly Japanese descent. Yeah, the Subaru is not. The Subaru is what I use most of the time. Um, I, I prefer it. I don't know. I like the way it looks. Yeah. Hey, there we go with the, the upgrade system. Well, now we're sure we have it. Well, I mean that that's. It, I know it's just cosmetic here, but I'm just yeah. saying it's there. Yeah, it in the PS. I played the PSP version more, um, and I wanted to show the PS2 version because it's probably the easier one to um, play based on the size of the TV. Because the PSP, from a control perspective, is pretty terrible because of the the, the actual you, know, you have to use the D pad and that nub. Uh, is terrible. Although there's more options in the PSP version uh, than there are in the PS2 version, and the PSP is not region locked, so you can import it and not have to worry about having a Japanese PSP, for example. Which is pretty nice. Which also the PSP version also supports uh, multiplayer between two PSPs. Um, there was a time where me and Tim both had it. We, we tested that one worked pretty well. Um, Tim played this a lot more, and you know, <laughs> he still didn't beat me, and I'm pretty terrible at this. Uh, there are actually a lot of stages here, uh, a lot of tracks. So, you know, tracks probably not good. A lot of mountains. A lot of uh, <laughs> mountain passes. 
um, based on the fact that this is, takes place, I believe, in the late 80s um, in Japan, I, I keep wanting um, them to run into Ryo. <laughs> Hi, Ryo! Would you like to race in the car? You're always walking around, Ryo. I, I'll give you a ride in this uh, Toyota. One of the things that I think was always really... I don't well, well, two of the I things, actually. The, I, I have to say real quick, I, hate, I never liked the drawing style. If you're a fan, I'm sorry. That's creepy. <laughs> the face. Oh, well, I was just going to say that that's actually one of the two things I was going to talk about real quick. Uh, this series has always been really famous for doing those still screen, you know, where it Close. has, it has like, the the character with whatever car they're known for driving. Um, the other real, the other thing that this game has that really sets it apart is the, the soundtrack. Yeah. The soundtrack is very much designed to... Um, Feel like to, a arcade. Yeah, oh, for sure, <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. You can you can put a song on, and if anyone's played Initial D, they'll they'll know just by hearing the song. Oh, this is from Initial D blank. Yeah. You know. Um. Yeah. Really good soundtrack. Um. The anime is also really good too. If you guys uh, if you guys are into anime and you like vehicles or you know the idea of racing or drifting down, because man, some of the shit they do on that on that anime, it's fucking insane. It's like, oh man, you're like one centimeter away from this fucking barrier. Oh my god, speed lines, speed lines! Ah! But it's pretty good. I, I and I'm I'm of the opposite. I don't like it personally. <laughs> I I tried watching it with Timmy once, and I just remember one one of the characters in some points, uh, someone had said something, and like this background character said, "That's not what the street racers say." And then I used to tease Timmy. I used to tell him that the whole time when he'd say something. <laughs> That's not what the street racers say, Timmy. I, I don't know. I just, it's a decent arcade game for someone who likes just racing games. Um, if you don't know, I, I will say you don't have to know the source material to play the game if you just play the arcade mode. And the arcade mode, which I'm doing right now, is pretty simple to figure out. Um, it's going to be a lot of um, trial and error between each menu item to figure out um, uh, where you're going. Because there's there's a number of different options here besides story mode. There's a there's a ghost mode. Where you can watch your ghost go up against another car, and you can save those times and that kind of thing. A uh, lot of lot of things for people who are really extreme into them. There's a lot of options there. Um, but as a racer, you know, it's it's okay. I mean, um, uh, if you're if you own a Japanese PS2, it's probably something that you should have in your library, regardless if you know the source material or not. Uh, generally speaking, uh, the game goes for about $40 average um, because it is in the best of collections, so that automatically discounts it. And $40 today, as in 2012, um, you know, it's still fairly popular, but it is a discount game, and it's not, it's not, it's not rare, not, not by import standards. Um, I thankfully got this game for five bucks um, in a lot with uh, Dencha Dago 3, which is another $40 game, so from some guy in Pennsylvania who didn't want the games anymore, didn't know what he was selling. So thank you, eBay. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get that lucky. You might be able to get this game for 15 20 bucks, possibly. Um, and obviously you'll need a Japanese PS2 or a modded PS2 that allows you to play uh, imports. Or you have a swap disc. Um, I would just recommend just buying a Japanese PS2 make it easy on yourself. Um, plus it's cool to have it. You know, you just pop whatever you want in PS1 or PS2 games without having to do the swap trick. And if you have... Uh, certain kinds of swap tools some of them um, can cause damage and yeah it's, it's not worth it but uh, this is actually the only track I'm any de any good at like and that's because there's no real sharp curves <laughs> at all but uh, yeah I mean that's initial D special stage in a nutshell if you're a fan of the series and didn't know there was a ps2 game well here's here's a reason to buy one or a PSP game or, or a ps3, PS3 game. probably which, ps3 would probably be the best which one to is get also not regional not regional that's true yeah. Um, so it's, um, you know, it's worth it. Um, I'm going to leave you here with this replay that, uh, was, was my terrible driving as I'm going down the mountain trying to recreate scenes from the anime and kind of failing. There's no speed lines probably. No, no speed lines. But, uh, if you get, like I said, if you have a Japanese PS2, worth picking up. And if you're a fan of the series, then it's no-brainer. Uh, I'm not a fan of source material. Marco definitely knows more about it than I do. Um, and if you can speak Japanese, then I guess the manga part would be pretty good because they they show the clips digitized yeah. 
And then they do the voiceover, so. Or if you want to create your own wacky subtitles, you can. Yeah, that, you know, that's what I was doing. You know what this game means? More drifting trains. Yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly we have. I was thinking the same. Yes. Like, if, if there was, like, a, like an area where you can drift a fucking train, I'd be like, this is the greatest game ever. Don't buy anything else ever. This is game of the year. I don't give a shit if it came out five years ago. Game of the year. All right, everyone. This is a region lock for Initial D special stage on the PlayStation 2. Uh, if you're a fan and you're offended by my the fact that I don't like the series, that's okay. Put it in the comments. Or if you like the game or have the game, put it in the comments anyway. Uh, if, if you're having a bad day, leave a comment. You just, <laughs> Bobby wants human interaction. Please subscribe and let us know what you think. Thank you.